Good, good. You're both here. I wanted to talk a little bit about possible title changes before we get started this morning. Daddy, you're not going to jail. This has to be done, Felicia. Yeah. All right. Send him in. He's here. Well, well, the family trust. And then some. What the hell do you think you're doing? You must be Felicia. You must be the rat. I take offense to that. I'm a fine, upstanding American, safeguarding our borders. So, Eric, what's it going to be? I'm not selling you Forrester Creations. Not today, not tomorrow. Not in your lifetime. So, let me get this straight. You would prefer to spend the rest of your lifetime behind bars. My attorneys will fight you. They'll lose. There's something here to show you. You will see this on the newsstand in the next couple of days. Nice graphics, don't you think? Sign the contract, Eric, and you'll spend the rest of your life on a golf course, as opposed to in a prison yard. I wouldn't sell you the company if you offered me a billion dollars. I won't do it, Spencer. Are you all hearing what I'm hearing from your father? It's called denial. He will lose his company, whether or not he sells it to me. It's really a question of whether or not he walks away with $50 million or a prison sentence. He hasn't done anything wrong. He hasn't done anything wrong. He has hired illegal immigrants and given them false identities. And he's been doing it for years. Do you have any idea how many federal laws he's broken, what kind of time he's looking at? You want him to sell you Forrester Creations. And if Eric doesn't do that at a fraction of what it's worth, <clears throat> you're going to call the INS, you're going to turn him in, and you think he'll go to jail. Bingo. Isn't that called uh, blackmail and extortion? You can call it blackmail, you can call it whatever you want. The bottom line is, either Eric signs the company over to me right now, or I will use the full force and weight of my publishing empire to send him away for a long, long time. Then I'll buy the company for less. Daddy, do it. Just sign it. We'll figure out a way to carry on. I agree, Dad. It's not worth going to prison over, okay? We don't want to lose you. We'll not cave in to extortion. Oh, I think you will. Sign it. All right, Eric, have it your way. I'm going to call my printer and tell them to go to press right now. Pam, send them in. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why is that? Bill, I'd like you to meet someone. And who's this? Oh, these are our attorneys. I thought it might be a good idea if they had a recording of everything that you said. You didn't really think you were smarter than me. You want him to sell you Forrester Creations. And if Eric doesn't do that at a fraction of what it's worth, <clears throat> you're going to call the INS, you're going to turn him in, and you think he'll go to jail. Bingo. Isn't that called uh, blackmail and extortion? You can call it blackmail, you can call it whatever you want. I think we've heard enough. If you carry through with your threat, then we've got everything on you, Mr. Spencer. It's leverage. Happens in business all the time. Mm, not like this. I mean, go ahead and play your hand. But if you expose Eric, I'll expose you. And that recording will be all over the media and the Internet, just like that. It's not going to keep him from going to prison. Maybe not, Bill. But it'll put you in a cell right next to him. She's right. Feds get wind of this, expect an indictment. You know, L.A. seems like such a vast space, but it's really just a small town, especially to the people that have lived here for a long time. You blow in from the East Coast like some hot air balloon, and you think that you are going to bamboozle a family 
that this town loves? <laughs> Extortion? Blackmail? Amateur tactics. Did you really think you'd get away with it? Because that's not the way it works here. I suggest that you pack up your tent and slink off into the night. The man humiliated you. Practically eviscerated you from his company, from his life. And yet you still defend him. Family squabble happens all the time. And we always get through it because we are a family. And you know what we do to arrogant sons of bitches like you? We bury them alive. Goodbye, Bill. Stephanie, come on now. Deep down inside, you'd know you'd miss me if I was gone. <laughs> you know, I think it's important that you and your family understand something about me. I view business, in fact, I view life as a no-holds-barred cage fight. One in which the winner isn't declared until one contestant quits or dies. Everybody get in the picture? We're just getting started. You better. <laughs> the good guys won. This isn't over. I think it is. I'm not giving up on Forrester or you. We'll be talking, Pussycat. Don't hold your breath. You know where to find me. How'd it go, boss? Are you the proud new owner of Forrester Creation? Not quite yet, Jared. I assume you're happy to hear that. Oh, well, it has always been a family-owned business. No, not for long. I may have lost the battle, but I will win the war. Forrester Creations will be mine. Mine. 